Ciao ragazzi! Hello Fantastics! How are you doing? It's Halloween, so this is a tutorial to make the super cute Halloween monsters which you can use like toys or um, key holders and much much more. So if you're interested in knowing how to do them, just follow this tutorial. Let's see the materials. So you will need some corks, Then you will need some brushes, you will also need some key rings, like these, and then some screw hooks. The screw hooks look exactly like this. Then you will need some acrylic paintings, and then you will need some plastic plates and some plastic glass. So let's get started, it's really easy. What you want to do first is just paint your corks with some layers of a solid color. So I'm using my white first here and I just grab my cork and paint it with some white and since the acrylic paintings are really really transparent I want to give it like three layers of color at least. So you want to paint your second cork, I'm using a light green, which I created just mixing some green and some yellow. And then you want to paint your third cork, and for this I'm using just a plain solid black. And then my last cork, which is going to be this orangey pumpkin color. And this is what you want to get. You want to create a, a solid base with just one plain color. So let's start painting our first monster, which is going to be a super cute Dracula. So to do that, I am using a very thin brush with this like skin color which is a very pale uh, skin color that I created just mixing some white, some magenta and some yellow. So now you want to paint your little Dracula's eyes and you want to use some red and just paint two little dots like so. And then two little white dots to add some light. So now grab a black marker and draw your little Dracula's mouth. And you want it to be a smiley laughing mouth because our monsters are not going to be scary, are going to be um, tender and cute and kawaii. And also paint two little pointy ears. So now you want to paint Dracula's suit, because our Dracula is going to be really elegant. To do that, it's really simple, you just take some white color and paint a V shape, and then paint it inside with white, and you want to give like two or three layers of white, like so. Then you want to take your black marker again and just draw three dots, which are going to be three little buttons. And with some red, paint the little cute bow tie. To make your Dracula even cuter, you want to paint his little chicks using some rosy color. And then using some red, you want to paint Dracula's cloak. And that's it! This is our little cute, super tender Dracula! 
So now let's paint our second monster, which is going to be Frankenstein. So to paint your Frankenstein, you just want to begin with his hair, which is actually really messy. So you want to just take some black color and paint these irregular triangular shapes. And of course, paint the upper part of your cork with plain black color. And then you can let it dry naturally or you can use a hair dryer. And if you want to, you can use the black marker to redefine all the shapes. So this is Frankenstein's messy hair and now you want to paint the rest of the face. And to do that, you just want to paint two yellow dots for the eyes. And then with the uh, black marker, you just want to draw the kawaii smiley mouth. And then a big long scar all over his face. So now our third monster, which is going to be a super cute skeleton. You want to begin painting the skeleton's face, which is actually a skull. So uh, make two black dots for the eyes and then with the marker just draw a smiley cute mouth. And trace some vertical lines to represent the skull's mouth. And for the skeleton's body, you want to paint all the rest of the cork with some black color. And then with some white color, you want to paint all the little bones, like the ribs, and for the arms, you just want to paint two white bones. And that's it! So now if you want to, uh, you can make it even cuter, just adding some colors for the chicks. And if you want to, you can paint it like the Mexican skulls. So now our fourth and last monster, which is going to be a jack-o'-lantern. So to make it, I just painted the eyes with some black and then draw a little cute mouth. And then to make it even cuter, I painted this sort of a t-shirt using a teal color. and make it with stripes. I don't think it's so cute. And then I painted the chicks with some red. So once your monsters are done, you can protect them, just giving them one or two layers of the varnish. So these are our little cute monsters done and you can use them like toys or you can turn them into something else, like for example into a key holder. So let's see how to turn them into a key holder. So you want to take your 
key ring in your screw hook and insert the ring into the hook like so and then you just want to grab your cork place your hook in the middle and then turn it around and that's it so simple so cute such a great result But if you want to, you can also turn your cork monsters into magnets, for example, magnets for the fridge. So you just want to take a magnet or a magnet tape. And then place your magnet on the back of your monster, like so. And that's it, you have a magnet. Or if you want to, you can take a cutter and then cut the upper part of your cork in the middle and you can place some cards on it or some pictures and make it a picture holder. So guys, this is it. This is my Halloween idea. I hope you liked it. I think it's super cute, super simple to make. Even kids and children can make it. So it's an idea for all the family. And you can turn your monsters into uh, key holders, magnets, and a lot of other stuff. So if you like this idea, please leave some up, leave some comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye, ciao! Subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. And click here for more videos.